At some time in your life, you're probably going to experience a flat tyre. This can be caused by a puncture or leaking air. Driving on a flat tyre will damage the tyre and rim, and most importantly, it's not safe. Changing a tyre is actually not that difficult if you follow these few simple steps. If you're driving when you notice a problem with your tyre, gently slow down, stop in a safe place, make sure that you park the car on solid level ground as far away from the road and passing traffic as possible, and put your hazard lights on. Apply the handbrake and put it in first gear if you're in a manual or park if you're in an auto. Gather everything you'll need to change the tyre, including the spare tyre, jack and wheel brace. The spare tyre in Hyundai sedans and hatches can be found in the boot, while the spare tyre on most SUVs can be found under the car. It's a good idea to have a plastic backed picnic rug in your car that can double up as a ground sheet. This will help to keep you clean and dry. Wipes and gloves can come in pretty handy too, as your hands will get dirty. Using the wheel brace, loosen the wheel nuts just a little before you lift the car. To make it a bit easier, carefully place your foot on the wheel brace and let your body weight do the hard work. Then locate the jacking point as shown in your owner's manual. It's important not to use the jack on any other points to avoid damaging your car. Now jack up the car until the wheel is high enough off the ground to get the spare on. As a safety precaution, lie the spare wheel on its side close to the jack and half under the car. If the jack fails, the car will fall on the spare rather than on you. Remove the nuts and slide the wheel off. Then place the spare onto the hub, lining up the spare wheel with the bolts. Replace the wheel nuts, making sure the tapered ends are facing the wheel. Secure the wheel firmly using the wheel brace, ensuring that the wheel is seated correctly and securely. Carefully lower the car and then tighten the nuts again using a crisscross pattern. Finally, return the tyre, jack and other tools to their original position. Now that you're safely back on the road, get the punctured tyre repaired as soon as possible. This will give you the peace of mind that if it happens again, you're well prepared.